93.5 K&A Mornings. Now, Suge, there are a lot of people that think you were involved in the murder of Tupac Shakur. How does that make you feel? Talk about it. You know, a lot of people say, well, God's going to judge me. I got like a 40, I got a 45 inch bullet in my head, into my skull by grabbing Tupac, pulling him down. That's really what happened. The second part of it is this. People know what happened at the end of the day. You got, you got, you got an individual on there and said, okay, we did this shooting. You know, Puffy was there, Biggie was there. He was already paid for to kill Tupac. This was, this how it happened. And they break everything down to the T. And I'm saying to myself, people say, well, damn, if this dude told a feds and everybody that he's a rip or a former rip out of Compton and they killed Tupac, why didn't he go to jail for murder? What about this, you know, ex LAPD officer who wrote books, who made documentaries? All the police wrote books for the money. Now, Suge, I'm looking at you. I see Tupac tatted on your arm. You know, yeah. Tupac's name tatted. You love Tupac. Of course. What do you remember the most about him? What, what's the, the best memory that you have of Tupac? I mean, you know, it's a few of them, you know, but one of the, I mean, if you had to go for the last thing that would go when we was in Las Vegas. You know, we was shit, we was shot. I'm like, Shh, I'm gonna get you to this hospital, kick back. He like, Simon, you bleeding out your head. I should be driving getting you to the hospital. And we just start laughing. You know what I mean? So all, all, all up to any any time. One time I can one thing I can always say that Pac never let a mother down and didn't show up. If this if, if it meant to him to show up in the studio, he was there. If it was meant to him to show up on a show or tour, he was there. If it was some going on in the streets, he got on the front line and bombed first, like he said in the song. Pac took more pride in doing songs for the West Coast than anything. That's why he was so serious about California love. That's why he was so serious about living, dying in L.A. You know, only thing Pac cared about is Pac used to say, yes, talk. Is a good song, He'd be like, I want to, Pac used to say this all the time. If I die, I want to die on the West Coast. <laughs> now, Shug, what are your thoughts today about Rick Ross? I mean, I can't sit up here and say I'm bitter to Rick Ross because, like anybody else, we don't know Rick Ross. This is a guy who's using somebody else's name. This is a guy who come from being a correction officer. I don't have, like, nothing negative about him, like, personally. I just feel that he do do good music, and you can't take that from him. That boy got bars. He's going to write. It might be somebody else still he writing, but at least he's writing it. But at the same time, I think it's a line you cross. And Rick Ross crossed the line. In what way, should? What, what, I mean, what line is that? If you're going to be with the guy who promotes he killed Tupac, you can't turn around and do a record saying Tupac's back. And you, that person you're speaking of is... Is Diddy. Is Puffy. Is Puffy. Okay. Yeah. Puffy was involved with somebody who was fat before, which is the incredible rapper. rapper. You know, I got love for Biggie lyrics. And Biggie never was negative towards me and nobody towards my empire so but at the same time here's this guy again dancing around again and for these guys to be so disrespectful who's saying basically tupac well this is a dude who really both had something to do with tupac getting killed but the crazy thing about it is this is that put the facts up and say the suge not have anything to do with tupac it's not one person would say yeah but at the same time they slander my name this is my little brother and say i had something to do with it Puffy can be the guy that they say has something to do with killing Tupac. Now, Rick Ross is a grown ass. I will beat the dog shit out of Rick Ross because I feel it's wrong to manipulate these people out here. And I'm not saying it in a bitter way. I'm being mad about it. I'm not saying it. To, I'm not saying it for a publicity stunt because I'm not a rapper. I'm saying it as a grown ass man, it's not right what I see you doing to my people. I think that Rick Ross is like. Do an ultimate fighting with me, and, and, and you know we give a charity to the kids and stuff. And whoever wins, say they mother beard <laughs> for good. <laughs>